Hey everybody, it's Spartan Ninja 100 and I'm back with the origami video. I'm doing this on my dress too because I don't have any room. My brother is recording his, I mean, uh, he's playing a game. And, um, yeah, I'm doing this on my dresser. But, as you can see, there's some light. And uh, today we're going to be making the origami Bowser. That's right. And I gotta tell you this, I hope you like it because this Bowser took me a whole lot of time to make. It literally took me about a month to get his whole body the same, and I'm making them out of one sheet of paper, which that is that's what's amazing. Um, and yeah, the front is gonna be visible and noticeable from the front and the back. So not only the front will be uh, drawn, but the back will also be drawn. Um, okay, because I'm a YouTuber. Um, I forgot his name, but he wanted me to make more origami videos. And uh, the reason I couldn't is because I couldn't find any of my old cameras, but this is one I found. And um, my iPod couldn't stand the right way so I could make them. But I'm going to use this. This is my very first camera. And, um, yeah, I'll be making this. Oh, and also, um, there's going to be a slight holdback to my editing software that I got for Christmas. I'm not going to be able to use it for a while because my uh, computer's uh, CD-ROM is broken. And my mom has to completely return, uh, replace it. And so, here is Bowser. First, you fold it in half hamburger style. Now, fold back down like this from one flat. Oh yeah, and in my video file, because I have a video file of what videos I've done, um, I have a whole bunch of other origami videos, but I just haven't, um, wanted to upload them. So, you got that. Now, use this corner and fold it all the way down like this. You see that? Now, do it on the other side. This. Now, take this, fold it back, crease it some more, open this, and put it in like this. Just like the work I'm out of here. Show you again. Then, push, and do that. Okay. So, yeah, this part is going to be a shell. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this part and fold it in like this. About one-fourth of it. Let me see. Yeah, one-fourth. I don't really know, but don't fold it all the way, because look. You see this little corner right here? That will be representing a shell, which I thought was amazing while I was folding it. And I thought that could be a shell. And so do the same on the other side. Okay, like that. This is about this way. And as you can see, these will be his hands, but we're going to do them later. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, now that we got that, um, hold on. This isn't straight enough. I need to straighten it because it's important to make them straight. I'm pretty excited about making origami videos sometimes because all my origami videos have gotten a, a, a lot of views. Especially Mario. That one I'm mostly proud of. And, um, yeah, I like that video. That one's getting big into like 5,000 views or something. So, um, yeah. What you're gonna do, this part will, um, just be his stomach, but just ignore this triangular part. You're going come on. Can I oh man, I can't zoom in. So you're gonna take this, put your finger into it, and squash fold. To where this line is lining up with here, like this. Squash fold. Do with the other.
the batteries running low, it is quick. Um, so we got that. What you're going to do is you're going to fold this part in, like this. This will be his arm, so we're going to have to thin it out. His arms are pretty big, so we won't thin them out too much. Now you're going to fold this in, fold this in. And what I like to do so this flap isn't showing, is do that. Fold it in. Like that. Now that you got that, fold this part up like that. And then you got the arm. Now do it on the other part. The other arm. And voila, we're done with his arms. There. Now time for his head. Now, I couldn't get his hair completely all the way, but um, I got his horns and uh, everything that he has, And uh, but his hair is a little short. Um, okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this part and fold it right here, leave some space about your pink, about a little bit less than your pinky height, like this much, a little less than an inch, yeah, I think that's an inch or a little less than an inch, I don't really care, but, um, yeah, so you're going to do that, this part, this opening part will be his mouth, and, uh, to, to make it, uh, his mouth not like this, his flap, tape this, and uh, fold this part back to where this part meets this part. That that will be creating his horns. Now do it on the same with the other corner of his head. There we go. We're not finished yet, but now take this. And fold it up like that. Just like that. And then crease. Hold on. After this fold, I'm going to get a sharpie because I'm going to be drawing this afterwards. Okay. Okay, that one. Got a sharpie, but we're not done yet. Oops, forgot to make this inside fold. Okay, now take this part. Hold on, this I can't show this on camera. You're gonna take this. Oh yeah, I can. Take this part and fold it back like this to create his hair. I know it's short, but well, no, that's the best I could do for his hair, which. I'm proud of how this turned out. It's really good. See that part? That will be kind of his hair. That's what I got, but... So, yeah. This is going to make this... You're going to have to take this part because it holds this bottom mouth together. And so, what you're going to do is... Fold this part in like this. Oh, wait. It would be neater to do this. Fold it right here. Fold right here, and then an inside fold. Run out of battery here. It's about nine minutes. Inside fold. Now, just fold this up a little bit. Just leave a tiny little crease right here, so it'll be like that. And so that's what you got. That's Bowser. And it, I'm gonna have to thin out the arms a little bit because they're not supposed to be hanging off the model, so I'll just make them where you fold them right here, or so-and-so. Okay, like that. Now, um, here's how I draw Bowser. 
draw a line right here like that color in this part red wherever you want to because don't color these parts because that will be his teeth don't really color the bo the upper part because that won't be visible and um yeah I draw a line right here or some a rough line so it'll separate his hair from his body and then draw his eyes Not really good. Don't remember how I drew Bowser, but this is what I got so far. Let me color this in so it doesn't look. Right there. Now, this part. I just draw a few lines for his body. Like that. And those little. Now we're gonna draw his chains that he wears. Like that. And then. Shoulder. I messed it up right there. And right there. Now turn it over. And to separate the, the arms from the shell, draw a line right there. Draw a line right there. Go the chain to the back so it can be more realistic. Okay, so like that. Now to decorate a shell. Gonna be outlining this. I draw spikes. Whatever way you want to decorate them. So this is low quality. But, um, put them on your finger, and there you go. Your own Bowser. Origami. Now, um, you're probably wondering how I get all these ideas. Because I got one comment, um, on my Mario set said I was cheating, and I was not. I was not looking at anything. I made Mario, he was my own design. And, um, how I make these origami things is I fiddle with paper. And uh, one time I was just filling with paper and I made an origami Iron Man. Now, if you want me to make an Iron Man video, put in the comment below if you want me to. And one last uh, Mario thing. I'll try to make a Yoshi too. Um, but I'll make a Donkey Kong video too. But this is Bowser. Wow, this is 13 minutes long. I'll just, if you know how to color Bowser, this part is like um, green. The skin is yellow. This part... Um, is green. His eyebrows are red or orange, and his hair is orange, kind of. And his mouth is red. This is light orange. And that's basically it. Keep watching my videos and subscribe for more awesome videos. Bye.